Hey, bet you're wondering, what the heck are you still doing here? I thought you said you were leaving. And I planned on it, but as I was starting to take the deck off the mower, I thought, you know what? Let me walk around and see how wet this, these high spots are. And uh turns out they were pretty dry, so I'm like, hell with it. I'm going to go ahead and run the mower, dull blades and all, and uh, at least get the high area mowed. Because, I mean, the grass was just getting out of hand. Look what these uh, squirrels did. They brought all of the black walnuts over here and just gorged sitting up on these rocks. Flowers look pretty. Okay, so yeah, um, I ended up taking the weed eater and going around the camper. Uh, it's just too flooded. You can see I went a little bit too close to the flood area on my last two passes with the mower there. Um, but anyway, the, uh, the driveway looks really nice. Nice and mowed. And uh, I can't figure out which camera my two trail cams need the batteries because I can't get on the internet, so it won't uh, tell me which is which. And uh, when I take them apart, it both given a green light on the battery, so I know one of them is getting low. I'll figure it out when I get home. Anyway, I trimmed around these bushes, pulled all this debris out. Uh, it was like covering hostesses. That one was completely covered in debris. These two uh, pieces of stumps of wood, those got washed away from my shed. That's where they used to be. Because I used to keep them under the ramps before I built them steps. I still keep the one under the one ramp. So, once I finished the mowing, the deck came out with no problem. There it is. And it'll be coming home with me. Since I'm taking it up north, I figure I might as well get it really cleaned. Uh, and, and completely repainted. Uh, with some good rust-oleum. Yeah. Anyway, mower started up nice. Trimmer started up nice. Everything worked out well. And now the, uh, the hive spots at least are mowed and you can see, you can see how tall that grass is. It's really thick over there and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, over here, just look how tall the grass is right up next to that fence. I mean, then I made the mistake of coming back here and nearly getting stuck. thought, well, it's pretty high up by that second fire ring. I'll go back there and do that. Ended up being a big mistake. It just, it was kind of muddy back there. I got it mowed, but no. So, all right. Uh, got that back area cleaned up. And uh, got a ton of firewood. You see the cattle panel there. I'll probably cut that down, maybe cut a quarter of that off, and then get two cattle panels of that size and, and do maybe a, a one and a half, maybe one and three quarters out. And then I'll take this uh, electrified fence and, and go around, go around it, and then my boat will be safe from the critters. Yeah, like, like this right here. Pretty good firewood. But, uh, right now I stacked all the firewood over here. You can see it. There's a lot of it. So we'll have plenty there to, uh, give us uh, plenty of kindling. 
I'm either gonna have to get up on the hill and cut some trees, or I'm gonna have to order some more firewood. Can't imagine what the price of that will be now. It's gone up every year that I've ordered it. Get it from the same guy. Uh, last year, I think it was a hundred bucks for a truckload. And the very first time I ordered from him, it was 65, which is about three years ago. So yeah, things are getting expensive. I can't just, I can just imagine what the price will be this time. So I need to get some kind of a vehicle to get across this creek, take that trailer. It's on the back side of that shed right there. Hook it up to some kind of four wheeler, get across the creek and get me some of my own firewood. All right, guys, now I really mean it when I say I'm going to get ready and go home. I got the uh, mouse crap all vacuumed out. I'll put that uh, picture right here. And, um, yeah, uh, I'm ready to go home. It's only like uh, 1.30, but I got a long drive, and uh, you know how that goes. I get the drive, and then I got editing to do on the videos uh, which I kind of enjoy so anyway take care guys and we'll see you next week dang it doesn't leave much room for Bowski he's got that pillow <sighs> let's get out of here